of our victories. The court wizardry of Ernie D. Ernie D. Gregorio. He was the little man, and Marvin Barnes was the big man on Providence's team. John Thompson, the Georgetown coach, played for the Friars in the mid-60s, and that team was captained by a man named Ray Flynn, who's the current mayor of Boston. Who's to Providence because he knew that if he was successful there, he would have the student support and the support of the city. Last game for Reggie Williams, 25 points. We'll be seeing an awful lot of him in the future. Guaranteed, Reggie Williams. Someone's got to go home. You lose one and you're gone. And when the underdog wins, it's an extra special feeling. And it's got to be an extra special feeling for a team like Providence that has really risen rapidly in the Big East, which is a very tough conference indeed. Villanova didn't make the NCAA tournament. They were champs a couple of years ago. I don't think this is a Cinderella team. I agree with John Thompson. That's what it's all about. Three-point shot by Tillman, no good. Providence does it. The big upset, 88-73, they're going to New Orleans. in the final four. The Chevy MVPs for Providence, Daryl Wright. And you see Providence advancing on, and Daryl Wright is the Chevy MVP for the Friars. Reggie Williams completing his remarkable career with Georgetown. Coming up, University of North Carolina will be taking on Syracuse for the East Regional Championship. We'll get to that after this word from your local station. Yeah. <laughs> now every, uh, every travel agent in Rhode Island will be on the phone tomorrow morning. But in fact, the entire basketball community was stunned yesterday. And out in Seattle, Jerry Tarkanian was holding a press conference when he learned of that Friars upset victory. Providence by how much? Are you kidding me? Providence by 15? It's a final? Holy cow. Now, if you talk about a celebrity, yeah, I'd be Rick Pitino. Yeah, I'd be the mayor of Providence. I'll tell you that right now. Well, there are a lot of other folks who thought the same thing. And as news of the big upset swept through the campus, the students came out and celebrated together. In lieu of confetti, they trimmed the trees with whatever was handy. And after two earlier tough Big East losses to Georgetown, they vented their frustration on a Hoya sweatshirt. Meanwhile, in New Jersey, Syracuse was also lighting it up. Syracuse goes to the Final Four. In central New York, the Orangemen were the toast of Syracuse. And amid the spraying foam, there were kind words for a coach they had often maligned. Syracuse has done it. No man more deserving the victory ride than that coach right there. The partying at Syracuse went into the wee hours of the morning, and the delirious fans were convinced they had a winner. Syracuse is a very, very good team. They're the best in the country. They're number one. They're going all the way, and there was no doubt about it ever, ever, ever. Sounds like a history major to me. And speaking of uh, recent history, this year Syracuse took two out of two from Providence during the regular season. All right, when we come back, we'll check in live at Cincinnati with Brenton Billy. Game one today from the Midwest as we continue on.